I don't know about you, but I'm tired of rectangle. Every keyboard I build, rectangle. GMMK Pro, rectangle. Keycron Q1, rectangle. But today, I have something special. It's round and thick. But there's more. The website said that it's a straightforward keyboard to build, which for a person like me is perfect. But we'll see about that. Here is the pixel space capsule box and the box is literally a piece of art. Look at this display case. You can put it on your shelf anywhere you wanted to. It's basically like, you know, when you buy GPUs or CPUs and you're like, you know what? I'm going to display that. This has that kind of feeling to it. There we go. Thick box. Got a finger hole. It's big enough for my fingers. So there's various plates. FR4 plate, PC plate, and palm plate. So different options I could pick from. I have not decided which one to do today. So I have to keep that a mystery for now. PCB. Beautiful PCB. Switch bottom mats. I'm guessing that's like... PE foam. Although on the website, they did say they have two different foams that you could pick from. One is more of a poppy sound and the other is more of a muted sound. I'm gonna go for probably the muted sound, something different. So parts and cable. So stabilizer washers. They also call this stabilizer shims. Last time I saw this, I had no idea what these are and I just didn't include them. But this time, I know. So I might include those. Now, four feet seats. Gasket socks. So similar to QK65 with gasket socks and a straight cable. It actually looks pretty cool. Nice blue color matches with my case. It's a little short. I've got to guess this is maybe four feet. It looks pretty. Bottom foam and middle foam. This must be the muted option. And what we've been waiting for. The beautiful case. Ooh, it's so round. The round case. No more rectangles around here. We're all about circles. Ooh, there it is. There's even a peel. Enjoy the peel. See the branding here with capsule. Here it's a little bit difficult to see with the light and that is a mirrored round edge. Mm, USB-C port on the left. It's got a little daughter board thing. I hope that's easy to connect because <laughs> it's usually pretty painful. And a screwless bottom. Very nice. Oh, I didn't even see that. They even did a switch and click logo engraving right, right there. Very fancy. I'm gonna open up the guide because everyone needs guides. I've taken a look at the guide before and it said it was straightforward. Don't need a big brain. Maybe you don't even need a small brain. Okay, there is the guide. It says it uses a popular gasket mount structure, leaf springs, and it should be straightforward to build. Here's the recommended setup. So I'll listen to all of this. Well, hopefully it turns out really well. So this is their second project. So their first project was an endless 80% TKL. It looked very pretty, very sci-fi future-esque. And that's what this is all about too. It's, there's really no instructions other than, you know, build it. So I'm assuming it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to take it apart. It doesn't come with tools. So you do have to provide your own screwdrivers. Thank goodness I have like a ton of bits. Very small. Whatever size this is, that's the size. Now open that up. So let's see if it just comes right out. Top plate. Very nice. I think this is supposed to light up when it's on. And the bottom. Everything is very heavy. You can get a closer look at the switch and click logo there. So no fancy weights on this one. No brass weights, stainless steel, whatever. Just two pieces, a top and a bottom meant to be put together. Although I think this this mirrored bit is a it's a bit heavy because it's very top forward. Oh, I get to mess with the PCB. Ooh, this is a zero standoff build. So do I want a PC plate or do I want something a little stiffer like FR4? Here's the sheet. They have two sheets. At least that's what it says. So there's two options for case foam. One is a 2.5 millimeter high density pour on foam for crisp and white tone. And then one is a 1.5 millimeter high density pour on foam with a special paper which makes a muted sound. So these are the two options. Option one, this is the thicker option. 
and then option two, the thinner option. They're both pour on. So if you combine the thinner option plus the paper, you get a muted sound. And I'm looking for something muted. Muted is not the trend, nor is being round. So maybe it'll be a future trend. Not swappable, looks beautiful. Whatever these veins are, these are cool. These are cool too. And this is where the, the light comes off over here. So I'll make sure not to break anything. And there it is. So stabilizers go first. Stabilizers always go first. So for stabilizers today, I have the nice and dandy Duroc stabilizers that are all clear. They even come with their little O-rings. So with the little O-rings and the washers, I'm not sure if I need to use everything. And also let me make sure this isn't a 7U space bar like everything else that I've been getting in the world. So it does fit a 6.25U space bar. Don't need anything more than that. Thank goodness. Plus the washers or without the washers. The washers look cool. I've just never used them. So the guide recommends that they are optional. One big one and a bunch of little ones. Get my lube. Lots of lube. Process just gets faster and faster over time. We don't need any fancy mods here. No holy mod. No FC mod. Just lube. So stabilizers are pretty much done. I'm going to put them on the PCB. This is quite fast. It's really fast. Every time I build a keyboard, it's like I get faster and faster every single time. They clip in down here and then you just push them in. This plate is ultra flexy. That looks nice. So washers just going in. They're super small. Screws also going in. Okay, stabilizers are all done. We move on. This video was sponsored by Exter. Do you ever think, hmm, technology is everywhere, but why not my wallet? Exter's wallets are some of the smartest wallets in the world. They are all super slim and yet can hold 10 plus cards and cash. This is my thick wallet and this is my husband's and this is an extra wallet. And they also have this awesome feature, this button. All you do is press it and boom, boom, all your cards come out just like that. They also have RFID blocking built in to protect you from wireless theft and a tracker. I've already paired this tracker, so check this out. Oh no, I've misplaced my wallet. Where is it? Click a button on your phone and it rings and there it is. It can also help you locate your phone if you've misplaced that. Very helpful. They also look very stylish. Come in a bunch of different styles and colors. These wallets are super awesome and I'm glad wallets are taking a slimmer approach. Check out Extra using the first link in the description to get 20% off the entire site and 30% off plus a free gift bag for orders over $150. I think the next step is just to put the plate in, put the switches in, and then gaskets. So the true decision making starts now. Do I want PC with big flops, big boing boings, FR4, stiffer, less boing, or palm, which has got lots of boinginess to it. I'm thinking something stiffer, but I've never liked FR4 and the sound that it creates. Everyone recommends PC. I do like the PC flex, but I might do Palm. I think I'll do Palm. Time for something a little different. No more boring Betty. Out comes new and exciting and rejuvenated Betty. It's a unique keyboard after all. It's, it's round, it's not rectangular, it's different. It deserves something exciting. No standoffs makes things difficult though. For the switches, I decided to go with something that I never ever 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 go for. I haven't done anything with these switches in a long time and these are, what do you think they are? They're all black housing, all black stem, cherry MX black spring swap to a lighter spring weight so that I can actually use them without being like, uh, my fingers are tired. That happens a lot. So they are spring swap, hand lubed by moi, very usable, and they sound fantastic. So I'm really excited and I will put the thin piece of foam into it. That goes behind. So this goes, this goes like this. So I, I'll have to do some surgery. You're not supposed to do this. 
I'm definitely not supposed to do this. I just messed up. That's better. Let the switch hold it in. So this piece goes into the case. I'm really excited about this build. When I first looked at it, I was like, oh, finally something unique, something different. No more rectangles. I get something round. Plus it's like sci-fi, futuresque themed. Cherry switches have such nice legs. They're like so strong. They're not flimsy at all. Three switches remaining. So the next step are these gasket socks. I love gasket socks. I think they're amazingly easy to build. All you do is you take these little things and you slide it onto the plate like that and that's it oh so gasket socks all done everything's so black it's so awesome the whole black on white is aesthetic so you take the case off put it in like so still nice and bouncy rgb is in the right place now for sort of a difficult part is connecting this bad boy to the pcb i, I guess i do that first it goes in like this put it in there okay it's in that's it but the switches that are close to the screws like that one like that one they get stuck when trying to get them through these screw holes here so you have to use a little bit of force time to test so it does work let's just put the rest of it on I'll do without screwing though there it is oh that's a nice feature there I'm ready to put on keycaps. The keycaps of the day are new keycaps that you've probably seen before. These are the Drop DCX white on black keycaps. They're made to rival GMK keycaps at a more affordable price. The boxing is super clean and the keycaps themselves look so clean. The legending, very clean. They're double shot ABS keycaps. 7U spacebar, enter, white, enter, and escape, which I will be using because I like that white on black black look with the combo it needs feet step one is feet step two keycaps so the whole rounded aesthetic is mm, and screwless mm. wow these feet fit in really nicely <laughs> Along with the black and white theme of our switches and plates, we're gonna go with a black and white theme on the keycaps too. I'm gonna put the white keys in first. And I'm really excited about the way this, this keyboard will sound. I haven't used a palm plate in a very long time. Got those two keys. Now for the good stuff, everything else. So let's look at these legends. They feel very smooth. They are ABS, so you know, you might get that shine over time. But the legending is just so clean. Oh, Ooh, it's already smudging. Make sure it's beautiful, ready for display. So different things that I like here is that there's a mirrored side, but you're not going to be touching it when you're lifting it up. You're not touching like a mirror on the bottom, like this one, where if you're lifting it, Boom, you already got fingerprints on it. If you're lift holding it, boom, fingerprints everywhere. But this, easy to put your fingers underneath the curb and lift it up without fearing that your fingerprints are going to appear anywhere. But you do have that nice mirrored look for if you're taking photos and like those nice lines there. And then the caps indicator lights. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the capsule logo being there. Maybe it was just a light without the capsule logo go to it blocker size get that nice ellipsoid look and feet so not a lot of customizability with the angle but it is five degrees and it's significantly lower feeling than my other keyboard here a different look a different feel different ways that light reflects off of it a very unique keyboard now to plug it in for reels oh it's got rgb breathing turn off it should be lying there turn it on then it's got an rgb breathing right now so that is the build see how it sounds It sounds great. I love the way it sounds. Not ever used Cherry MX Blacks ever because they're always too heavy for me. So I've never used them. But this build, this might be going on my desk for quite some time. It's quite exciting. Just love seeing something different. And the mirrored finish is in a place that is just... Mm. So the price of this keyboard there's gonna be different colors but the anodized version they're gonna have 200 in stock first come first serve units which means you need to get there fast 
fast, though the anodized version will be $410 for the kit that I showed today, which does not include stabilizers, keycaps, or switches. And I think you have to pick only one plate so you don't get them all. And then for the electrophoresis version, it's going to be a little bit more go going at $430. And the group buy price is not finalized yet, but if you don't get the first come first serve in stock units, there is going to be a group buy. But, and they plan on getting them under $400. It's, it's very cool. I really think the trend is going towards different shapes and different kind of designs, cool looking unique products that it's not the same as we always get. So if you do want a Pixel Space Capsule, you can check it out using the link down below. They have several colors, several renders of potential colorways that they're going to sell it at, but I believe the main ones are black, white and then this light blue that we have here. I love it. It's awesome. It's going on my desk for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed the build of a really unique keyboard. So if you like this build, I think you'll also like the Tenet e Big Brain keyboard that took 9,000 Big Brain IQ to build right here. Or if you're interested in some pre-built, you can check out this video right here. And I'll see you in the next one.